Hello everyone, Nintendo 110 here, and this is another robot review. This is Bittle X by Petoy. This is a very solid improvement of the original Bittle robot by Petoy. Any devoted viewers of my channel will definitely recognize this fella. This is my original Bittle from 2021. Uh, he is named Conan, that's, that's his nickname at least. And we built him because he was given to us as a kit. Very solid robot. Uh, one of the first very small, or actually probably the smallest four-legged robot that I know of, at least currently on the market. Or actually the smallest one I can think of that's ever been sold. Interesting thing with the original Biddle. Whoops, I forgot to turn him on. Neat feature with the original Biddle. You're able to control it via an app on the Bluetooth module, uh, which actually is installed on the board here, which I'll show in a second. Or you can control it with remote control. Very stable four-legged motion, nine degrees of freedom, which means there's nine servos in this fella overall. And also, he has a gyro, so at any direction he can try his best not to fall. And it also comes in handy for other things as well, which I'll show in just a little bit. This is the board of my original Biddle from 2021. As you can see, I've got the added on Bluetooth module, which actually came with him. He's able to be controlled in three different ways and also programmed. Um, you can control or program him through the Bluetooth app, which can be installed on iPhone, Android, etc. Or you can also program and control him with the desktop app or also with a little remote. That's what I was controlling with just a minute ago. But we're not here today to talk about this old fella. Sorry, Conan. We're here today to talk about his new little brother. So this is his new little brother, Coax. He's a Biddle X, which is the newest model that just came out. Uh, and basically he has all the features of his older brother. He can be controlled by a remote, desktop app, smartphone app, and of course also has the added feature of voice recognition. Here's a look at Coax under the hood. Biddle X has an all new improved board and everything as you can see. So all the same features of the older model with a lot of new things. Bluetooth of course is now built in, it is not a separate module anymore. And you can of course still connect to your computer and everything else. Still has the good old gyro, which I've currently got that turned off just so I could pick them up and show them to you and everything. Let me show out, or let me show off the really amazing in my opinion, voice recognition this dog has. Now the voice recognition for Biddle X here, in my opinion, is by far the greatest voice recognition that I've ever seen. I own hundreds of robots. Me and my fiance have a collection of many, many robots, many with AI, many that are humanoids, four-legged type robots. Most of the ones that you can think of, we probably own them besides the really big ones, of course. And I believe his voice recognition literally beats them all because it's just fast and extremely, extremely good. It will almost always recognize you. Uh, let's demonstrate that real quick. First, let's get him to say hello to all of his friends. And let's show him walking. Let's get him to walk a little more. Walk. Walk. If that's not super speed, I don't know what is. Sit. And he's very stabilized, even compared to the original Biddle. You can tell there's quite a good bit of stabilization that's been added. Uh, there is different servos, at least they're slightly improved, and they do use plastic gears now, which actually are a lot smoother compared to the Metal Gears version. You can buy this version with Metal Gears as well. Stand up. Sit. Stand up. Stand up. Sit. Rest. Stand up. Let's show off a little bit of fun. Jump. Look at that. <laughs> Jump. Stand up. 
Now let's talk about the programming capabilities. Programming for the older model was pretty easy, but also a little bit complicated. Of course, it required adding on a piece to the board, at least a little module, and of course plugging this into your computer, and there was a special program that had to be downloaded. For the newest model, it's actually way easier. Now you have a built-in skill composer in the desktop app, and all you have to do now, nothing added on, everything's right there. All you have to do is just basically plug in this little USB-C, plug it into your computer, download the desktop app, and you're ready to start working with the skill composer. And the skill composer is really awesome. You can actually make the dog do basically anything. Uh, there is a visual CGI model that you can use to basically direct all of the limbs. You can program in real time, basically. Program new things for the dog to do, and you can add those on to use on the desktop app. You can add them to use for the smartphone app, or you can add them even to be programmed into the remote so that then you'll be able to control the dog to do whatever you want it to do, really. You can also add them as voice recognition commands, so that's awesome. Haven't really played around with that much yet, but I do know how it works. Oops, sorry, little guy. <laughs> Haven't really played around with that much yet. I do know how it works, though, because I played around a little bit with it with my older model, so I am going to be making some new commands and some new skits and stuff for him, and definitely look forward to seeing those on my channel pretty soon. I'll also be showing an in-depth analysis of how I do it, so I hope you'll also watch that. All right, next let's head to the floor and I'm gonna show a pretty big difference in the walk cycles between them. This was another thing that was improved with the stabilizations. Uh, this is just their traditional remote walking. Wait, whoops. Be quiet. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you turn off the voice recognition for those who don't know. All right, here's the original walking. And here's the new filler. Yes, as you can see, quite a lot more stable. And I'm also going to show them running. Alright. Whoops, he fell over. There he goes. Up. Oh, okay. As you can see, the running was also improved. And there's also a few new walk cycles that actually were not featured on the older model. Or at least heavily improved from what the older model had. We've got crawling now. Which the older one can do that as well. Just a little bit different. And let's compare also the gyros and the servos. Alright, let's make sure you know we're both done with that. Alright, this is the servos and the gyro, uh, gyroscope, the tilt sensor, of the older model. As you can tell, quite accurate, but also a little jittery. Possibly also due to age, I will say. And then comparing that to the newer model, a lot smoother, very accurate now. And they definitely sound quite a bit different as well. Overall, I consider Biddle X to be a very solid addition to the Petoy range of products. I believe Petoy has done a very good job with their robots by making them small, affordable, very friendly for STEM, for like schools, classes, any of that type of thing, or even homeschool. And now actually adding things like voice recognition, a lot easier programming abilities and stuff like that actually gives a very, very solid improvement. I also want to mention with everything on the board now being a lot more unified and, you know, all built in right there, does make it a lot easier for hobbyists and for beginners, so that's also a good thing. And honestly, Pet Toy is one of the only companies I've seen so far that has managed to make a robotic pet of types that 
not only has a lot of degrees of freedom, a lot of movement, is fast, is actually quite durable, very programmable, but also, of course, affordable. That's not really something you see that often anymore. And despite the fact that pet toy stands for pet and toy, I would say these are actually so good they kind of go past the whole definition of toy. Like, they're way more than a toy. They're actually a very good robot, a very good, not even just for beginners, actually for people who are hardcore into robotics. I think these are actually a solid thing for you to learn or for you to work with, really. I'm going to try doing a lot more with the Biddle X now that I've got the ability to really work with him. And I hope that you'll check him out and also do the same. I would also like to mention somebody in my Facebook group that I run actually questioned the idea of are these possible to add autonomy to, like to make them an autonomous AI robot. Petoy on their website does sell a lot of sensors and a lot of add-ons. There's cameras, there's little uh, sensors like for obstacle avoidance, even touch sensors and stuff like that. Uh, obviously this one already has the microphone built in. Um, that's also something you can add on to older models if you want to do. And yes, it is very much possible to program autonomy into them because you can program them to do anything. If you want to program autonomy, if you want to program AI, add on the sensors and do it. You can absolutely 100% do it. They aren't a very locked down robot. They're extremely accessible with everything. So, And also, Pet Toy is a good company. They're always there to listen to you. So if you have questions or you need help with something, they will almost 100% guaranteed reply to you pretty fast with answers. And of course, comparing Biddle and Biddle X and also even Nibble and other Pet Toy robots to other robots on the market currently, even though they're small, don't let that make you think that they're not a good robot. They're actually like extremely good. They're powerful for their size. And these tiny little servos can actually do a lot, believe me. The battery life is actually pretty good for their size. Uh, I haven't really measured how much battery life I get, but I've played for the past three years with my old one. And, you know, now I've got this new one to play with as well. And I would say it's definitely pretty good. So I would sometimes say that I would get at least 30 minutes out of runtime. It all depends on what you're doing, too. If you're making the dog run and walk a lot, it might be a little less. If you're just letting it kind of sit on your shoulder, yes, I do take mine for shoulder rides. You probably will see that on my YouTube channel. Then uh, the battery might last quite a bit longer. But I think that's about all I want to say. Definitely check out Pet Toys' website, their Facebook website, or their Facebook page. Uh, check out any other videos on my channel because I will be making some more of the pet toy robots, especially the Biddles. Um, and I definitely recommend buying these. They are actually extremely good, extremely well built. You can buy them pre-assembled or you can buy ones that are, you know, that you get to build as a DIY kit. You can buy all the add-ons that you want for them. You can program them to do basically whatever you want. It's actually really great. Thank you, pet toy, for, I guess you could say, sponsoring me in a way by sending me this little guy to review. Yes, that is a very nice snap. And I'm gonna have Coax here tell everyone goodbye. And then I'm gonna tell him to go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Well, I guess he doesn't wanna to listen to that. Go to sleep. Well, I guess I'll work with them on that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Everyone have a wonderful day and check out the Pet Toy Robots because I highly recommend them. Bye guys!